Hi, I'm Victor Joali. I want to show you this tool that I created that saves me hours and hours of coding. I use it in every project. With a single artisan command like this, I can generate several files like controllers, form requests, APIs, views, factories, test files, routes. And the power of this tool actually is that it can generate any code that you want because you have control over the templates that generate these files. Let me show you how. Now going to the code. I created a project called blog that has a model called section with these options. It uses soft deletes, guarded empty, has many posts, that's a relationship, and the table has a field of call name, slug, description that is optional, that's why it's nullable. I also created a model called post using soft deletes, guarded empty, and belongs to a section. That's the relationship, and the table, it has a field called title, slug, content, an optional publish at, and belongs to section, that's why it has a field called section ID and it also uses soft deletes. Now let's generate code. Let's go to the terminal. I open these pane changes for you to see which files are generated. So the first thing we are going to do is call php artisan migrate. Now we have our tables created, sections table and post table. And we are going to execute PHP artisan code generator. We're going to pass the name of the our model section. And we are going to generate all files. So I hit enter. These are the files that it generated. So we can see that it has a HTTP controller and API controller, a form request, several view files, a section factory, and two test files. And it printed the routes. Let's copy the routes to our routes file. Okay, and I'm going to copy this one to the API. Okay, now let's generate the other one, the post. Okay, it generates more files for us. I'm going to copy this too. Okay, and the APIs. Well, actually, this one is the, okay, now the APIs goes to this file. And let's check some of uh, these files. Post controller. As we can see, there's index, show, created, store, edit, update, and destroy so this is a crude and it has the it's calling the files that it, it generated and it's using a post request let's see it has this post request title slug content all these three are required publish at is it's just optional and section id is required Another file that it created that we can see probably a file a view uh, created mm. post create okay we have here it created let me format this format okay. It has an input for uh, the title, slot, content. Okay, as we can see, it generated several files. Let's see if they are work uh, at our browser. 
refresh and if we go to sections okay we have a section this is the index create if i hit create empty it uh, gives me some errors it says that name field is required the same thing as log let me fill name slug well la alexander and the description create it, it's not a creating let me see what's going on okay created another one created other one okay now we have three let's try if we can delete one of these okay it's deleted it's giving us uh, the message now let's go to show show we can see the details of uh, the option that it, we selected and as you remember we created a relationship of has many posts that's why we are seeing this here let's create an, a post and publish is optional so let's leave it like that let's create another one now let's choose the other option there and let's click here and pick a date okay save sections and if i go to here to section i can see the post related to this section and if i go to the other one i can see the sections so we have a fully functional crude as you remember it also created some uh, php unit or uh, some uh, test so let's run the, our test and as we can see all pass but that's not all let's recreate this but using the out option i'm going to hit enter and the same for section okay enter and if i refresh let's see what happened okay now it's protected let's see if it happens the same post let me log in okay i just log in and everything seems to be working the same as before let me rerun the php unit and all the tests are passing and as we can see we just created several files that are work working and this can be our starting point for the whole project this time we generated a lot of code in less than 10 minutes next time i'm going to show you how to create your own templates or modify the existing ones so the code generated that will be exactly as if you coded see you next time i'm victor joali